What is this? Is it a tiny white bear? An albano panda? No, it's a cuscus. The cuscus is a marsupial from New Guinea. It gets its name from the sound it makes. It lives in trees and holds on to branches with its opposable toes and its prehensile tail. Hi, I'm Jack Hanna. Join me on Zoo Life to learn more about the animals of the world. Have you ever had a cuscus on your head? things are always happening to me. And the reason for that is probably because I spent my entire life working with animals. <laughs> I think funny. On this special edition of Zoo Life, you're going to see some of the funniest, craziest moments of my travels from around the world. <laughs> now, sometimes, I'm the brunt of the joke. Hey! There are going to be moments of fun and moments of wonder. playing in the water thing like I was told to do. I think I'd learn. I mean, I am, I'm no kid, you know. I am an adult. I know what I'm doing. I think I'm a child running around here getting wet, acting like a three-year-old. I'm going home. But they almost never let me go home. They send me all over the world. It's amazing what I put up with. Cruising them, cruising. The type of transportation they put me on. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Stop. Oh, push. Bush Buster. Man, wow. It's not that I'm complaining, but oh heck with it. I'm out of here. Trying to do a television show working with animals is tough. As any actor can tell you, you're always getting upstaged by the animals. And sometimes they're not even subtle about it. Okay. Flying foxes. Flying foxes look like that. Really the entirely different life form. They're very common in Sydney. <laughs> There's an obvious reason why we're so fascinated by gorillas. It seems almost like we're looking into a mirror that reminds us so much of ourselves. They're such an intelligent and emotional creature. And if you spend any time at all here at the Columbus Zoo, you'll see why they're so similar to us. Uh, I'll get him, boy, I tell you what. I think the winner of any baby animal contest would have to be Benny. He was born. I think the I think the winner I think the winner of any baby animal contest I think the winner of any baby contest would have to be he was born just a month ago. Luckily for him, his mother took care of him so he didn't have to go to the nursery because I may have to go to the hospital. Come on, yeah, you come on. the cutest thing I've ever seen. But he's wild, he's, uh, he's full of curiosity right now. Benny, aren't you tired? You're telling me the truth now, you've got to be tired here. Hey, no, take a long time. Benny, why don't you sit down and rest a minute? You're getting me tired looking at you. What, what's this one thing? This is our royal family, really. This is King. Hey, King, how you doing? We have Queen, Princess, and Duchess. This is an adult pair and two of their youngsters. Now, sometimes you see a camel, like, almost spit his tongue out. What, what is he doing? 
Well, that's a male cameljack in good condition. He's kind of showing off and marking his territory by blurbling his tongue out and making those weird sounds. How about I got to do at the dinner table? <laughs> well, I guess so. <laughs> King, oh, 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 gosh, King. Mm. Oh, man. Why'd you do that to me, King? You slobbered all over me, buddy. <laughs> oh, your breast smells just terrible. Nick, you've got to brush your teeth. I love this camel. This is a nice camel. Oh. I'm out of here. Mark, I noticed uh, the bear's been running around here making little squeaking sounds. They have what we call kind of a trill. Uh, well, if I can do it in a bad fashion, it's kind of like a... And that mother will constantly call to the baby, and we think part of it is just because in the forest you need to keep communication, and sometimes visually... Whoa! Sometimes visually, it's tough to... It's uh, kind of tough to keep up with your kid. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go outside and take a rest. Okay. It's been pretty active, actually. Yeah, yeah thanks a lot. lot. My pleasure, Jack. Yeah, I wonder what the elephants are doing today. Probably messy as ever. I've spent my entire life as a zookeeper, caring for animals. I'm not complaining, but it seems my work is never done. Sometimes I feel that my whole job is just to wait on the animals. here at my table. Yes. Uh, I have a real problem. Oh, thank you so much. I think our last, our last guest, our last, the last uh, customer. Had a terrible accident. Terrible accident. I'm sorry so much. Thank you so much for helping me here. I'll proceed now with my meal. The first requirement in caring for animals is keeping them fed. And sometimes, that's a big task. Golly, I don't want to fall in there. Wow. wow! You don't have to worry. Wow! How much shall I put in it? All of it! All yeah. of it! Golly! Oh, hey! Hey! He took my bananas! Other times, the feeding can seem like pure madness. He took it right out of my pocket! Of course. Is there any kind of controlled feeding here, or is this just come and get it? <laughs> hey, hey, hey! We have some manners here! <laughs> Lou, what's happening here? This looks like total chaos. That's exactly what it is. It's total chaos. You've got the lower ranking animals coming up to snitch uh, the good stuff as quickly as they can. Right in front of you is Rocket, who's Rocky's youngest brother. Where's Rocket? Rocket's right in front of you, stealing peaches. Hey, Rocket, you so like this piece? Uh, <laughs> look so at he's him. He's actually spoiled. This he's animal very spoiled. actually. He's look spoiled. at him. He. Because his, his oldest brother is the king, and he knows it, so he can do anything he wants to, because if you mess with him, his brother will beat you up. And it works in monkey society and human <laughs> society. <laughs> What was he trying to do to me? He's just trying to push you off. Exactly that. Exactly. Rocket. What he hey, to Rocket. Do. <laughs> okay, I'm out of here. You ready? Yep. Okay. Let's go, Mayor. Hey, good girl. My job is to kick the grain out. A little at a time, because we've got a half a mile of the road to go down. What's wrong? Well, I'm gonna be a mess when I get through here. Woo! Come on, monkeys! Come on! This is more fun than a barrel of monkeys. Woo! Do what you're doing. Okay. I'll win. Boy, I gotta clean up all this trash when we're done. Hey, Harold, you hungry, buddy? I'm gonna be some banana here. Have a bite. Harold likes to all here. There he goes. Oh, Harold, it's delicious. Look at that tongue. Look at the ooh. Sloppy eater, isn't he? Yep. Mm -hmm. Come on, Harold, just eat the end of the banana like the monkeys do. <laughs> well, he is. Like, hear, him, hear him eat and listen. Mm 
Here you go. No, I don't. I don't, I don't like bananas. You don't? I, I bet bananas, you. bananas, but I don't want to eat it. I know, because it's all slobbered over by Harold. That's right. You don't want to eat what Harold's been eating. <laughs> you know, sometimes caring for animals reminds me a lot of raising my own family. The work must be incredible, though, with all these, you know, the feeding formulas and the times a day. I mean, it's 24 hours a day work. It's basically the same as children. The younger they are, the more often they have to be fed. And they want love. You can see that, yes. you know, this one just wants to be loved like anybody, oh, anybody else so. would. Very much so. Yes, you love Jack, don't you? And they you? all have individual personalities as well, as you can see. <laughs> I'm going to take you and spank this one over here now. Who helps you with all this? <laughs> You're about to. No way. Are you serious? I take all change the help diaper? I get. Whenever someone comes behind this fence, I use them. Good job. Let me change your diaper. Let me change your diaper, Grub. Good job. Come here. Come here, Grub. Grub. Oh, Hold still, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. Come back here. Here, come here. Come here. Okay. Come here, Eddie. Come here. That's a boy. Right, you hold her up in the air. You hold her up in the air, and I'll... Okay, let me get this stuffed animal here. I'll... Okay. Here, Abby. Hey, come back. Hey, slow down here. Come here. I'll just set you down the table. Here, come here. Come here. One more. Just one, please, for me. Please, just one. Please. Please, here. Please, just for Jack. All right. Yay! You love this kitchen. I know what you're doing. You're, you're really not concentrating on eating at all. I can tell. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> Now, who's this? This is Oscar. Oscar is 42 years old. He was wow. hatched and hand-raised at the San Diego Zoo. Uh, incredible bird, but he believes that we're condors. So, what do you look like that? You know, I'm going to go in there and meet, I'm gonna go meet him. People often ask me if I've ever been bitten. Yes, I have. More times than I can remember. But the trick is, you have to remain brave. My life's in your hand. <laughs> I'll protect you. Yeah, I don't want this bird pick me up and take me out of here. Now, what do I do? Just follow you? Yep. I'm going to become him a back. ghost. You guys. Where is he? He's around the corner. I'll get him to come out. Oscar? Oscar. Oscar. Come on. Come on. Well, hi, Oscar. My name's Jack. Come on. Nice, Oscar. teach me how to be a feline tra trainer in one day, right? Impossible. <laughs> You're telling me? <laughs> say yes. Why don't you take make a fist and pull it back just like that. There we go. It's pretty easy, huh? This is all right. <laughs> this is something else. I'm a sea lion trainer now. Yeah. Okay, you got to be quick oh, okay, with the fish, okay. though, don't you? Now, how about I, I think I'm pulling the fish out before I do the cat. Okay. How about you getting a kiss? Let's stick your chick out there right next okay. to him. Come on. Oh, me. I'm the trainer. Hey. Hey, Salt. Come here. There you go. Mmm. Thank you. Come here. <laughs> we got a lot of fish. Floppy eaters. Eater. Nice, one at a time. Go there we go. Take these things all home. One at a time. Just tell them back down to Down and back to bed. Okay, tell them down house. Down. Down, so. Okay, and take a house. Get a fish, okay, buddy. Tell them house. Go to the house. Hey, go home. Okay. I ain't got no more fish. Okay, house. House. <laughs> hey, you made a friend here. So, okay. go to your house. Okay, bring him down like this. Down, down to your house, and Give him the fish. Okay. Now tell them house. House. I'm out of fish. Go, go home. So, get him out of here. House. He's going to attack me. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I think that thing is going to jump on me. I don't know. I don't know. We need a little work on this. Oh. 
Now, what's going on up here? There's people everywhere. Oh, yes, uh, but uh, we are close to the place now where the squirrel monkeys get their feet. Can I feed them, too? Oh, yes, yes. They won't bite me? No, no, sure not. No matter what, I've never lost my love of animals. In fact, I enjoy animals all over. The more, the merrier. Oh, wow. I can this is wow. Oh. That's what they do to all visitors. <laughs> God, hey. There's lemurs everywhere. <laughs> I know he is. Are you a cuss cuss? Come here. Okay, say do re mi fa so. Do re do re la so. off the me. Do re mi. No, 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 rock, rock. Do re No, rock, you're leaving off me. Do re mi fo so. One more time, rock. Do re mi fo so. You're leaving out the me, rock. Do re mi fo so la ti do. One more time. Do re mi. Talk, talk, talk to the animals. Hear what they say. Just might be surprised to find another friend. Keep me in here for about two weeks at a time. Do they? Yeah, I haven't had anything Which about two weeks. The they're they're keeping you for months, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay, yeah, right. You got anything for me to eat? I'm eat? sick of, I'm sick of bananas. Have, we have raisins and can I have? And, and can peanuts? you give me a raisin? Would you like I'm, a raisin? I'm just sick of bananas and peanuts. Yeah. Would you, do you bite? No, I don't bite. Thank okay. you so much. The great zoo director and wildlife educator Marlon Perkins once said, "If you want fun, work in a zoo." That's exactly what I chose to do, and I've enjoyed animals all my life. But some people ask whether our enjoyment of animals is really a good thing for the animals. That's a reasonable question, but I feel certain that the answer is yes. I've always believed in education through entertainment, that through our enjoyment of animals, we begin to understand our connection to the world we share, and that what we come to love, we will work to save. Anheuser-Busch theme parks conservation moment. The pledge made real. Meet the newest member of SeaWorld's auto rehabilitation program. Actually, he and supervisor of animal care, Steve Lang, are partners in the species survival plan, which helps preserve endangered species in many zoos across the country. This is Bailey. It's our short clawed Asian otter and uh, he's about four months old now. He's uh, been bottle fed um, since he was about five days old. His mother wasn't able to care for him. So uh, I'm Bailey's dad, full-time dad. Like any proud papa, Steve has recorded his own home video of little Bailey's progress. Say hi, Bailey. It's just like having an infant, actually. I have to uh, plan my whole day on, on him, even when I get off of work. He goes with me, so. Any, any errands I have to do, I have to plan around his feedings and things like that, which is every three hours. After I leave work, I put him in a kennel and, and pack all of his things, his toys. He's got several toys he plays with. And uh, I bring him home in the car. And then uh, as soon as we get home, he gets a bath. Fill out the bathtub for him, put his toys in there. And that, that burns a little energy. It keeps him busy for about an hour. And it's just like having a kid. You always have to know where they're at. Or buddies. Everything we do is together, and yeah, he likes he likes being around me, and, and he kind of talks to you when you talk to him. He, so you can hear him, he squeaks back, and uh, hey. 
When he's old enough, Bailey will join the other Asian otters at SeaWorld of Florida. Bailey's one of uh, the endangered animals we have here. He is part of our species survival program, and uh, so that will be his, his job here is to make more Asian otters. Anheuser-Busch theme parks, the pledge made real.